Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's Saint JJ. Today we're gonna do another video on Bybit, basically the derivative uh, leverage trading tutorial. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification, and leave a thumbs up to this vi video. And of course, we'd like to introduce you to my Discord channel, which I'm hosting, basically trying to build a small community, eventually become a bigger one for you guys to basically um talk about tradings and after that uh, discuss about cryptocurrency and many other stuff so you join the group on using the link down below and after they react to this if let's say you reacted you can't see the other groups itself just feel free to pm me and from there i'll give you the role and you can have access to everything so right now further, without further ado we're gonna jump into how does leverage trading work right so for you guys who are using by itself you might know that sometimes you might receive this message but it's easy to get rid of this message just head over here and after this just a small tip on how do you get rid get rid away of this over here and tada it's gone and okay so basically we're going to talk about the topic what is leverage trading and of course how does leverage trading works it's very simple to understand what is leverage trading and after that from there you might heard of people like losing tons of money and of course people like multiply that well like crazy i would say on leverage trading itself is basically like if you only have a thousand dollars to trade with you can make you can maximize the the amount of one hundred uh, one thousand dollars towards ten times even one hundred times of that one hundred uh, one thousand dollars that you have meaning you can have only one thousand dollars but you can open position as high as ten thousand dollars and of course the gains that you are making and of course the lose the losses that you are making equivalent to the amount of capital you have so it's count by percentage so let's say if you are winning one percent out of that ten thousand dollars you are winning like uh ten dollars or something like that no a hundred dollars i mean of that one percent so over here you must know that this over here is kind of like uh a it's not very confusing but of course you must know that the reward is high and the risk is super high as well so this is how leverage trading works basically using a thousand dollars you can go as high as 100 times and after that from there we're going to explain to you how to basically execute trades on bybit and after that from there we're going to jump into what is this inverse and us that uh, us data uh, perpetual all right so before we jump into what is this the relative tab and over there you can see inverse and us data perpetual basically this over here you might be a bit confused and what is inverse uh, futures as well we are going to talk about the fees first so over here if let's say you have watched the previous video about spot trading you must know you already know what is a maker and what's a taker and from there there's benefit for being a maker and of course there's a uh, disadvantage for being a taker but of course nevertheless the fee is still very cheap and i would say that what is this negative fee you might be seeing on uh, basically on by itself most most of the maker that you are doing on futures contract or maybe perpetual or inverse whatever it is on bybit itself you are getting paid to trade so uh, let's say your fee is uh let's say your fee is basically like uh one one dollar or whatsoever uh depending on whatever amount that you trade in total basically a negative meaning you are getting paid to trade so this sounds like a good idea to become a maker and after that from there you must know how to be a maker and of course you must have a strategy out before you can basically do this maker if let's say you are just purely gambling yeah, sounds like a good plan, right? Uh, basically trading and after that you are getting rebated. So now we're going to jump into talking about what is this uh, type of pass over here on derivative. So you must know that understand what is the difference of spot and derivative. Basically, spot itself is buying the actual product. And for derivative itself, you are just buying a piece of paper, which is a contract. And after that, from there, you can basically on this derivative itself, it is it's a very like chim and of course i would say fancy word over here but of course with this derivative itself this is where those who are very professional they really make like tons of money and of course this over here is a casino i would say for some of people out there so over here what is inverse perpetual is very easy to understand basically inverse perpetual itself is using the coin as it is uh, itself as collateral basically over here, if you want to trade on these pairs over here like bitcoin ethereum eos or xrp basically of you uh, you have to understand that if you are using binance itself it is called the coin margin uh perpetual or contract whatever you want to call it basically on bybit itself it's called inverse perpetual over here you have to know that inverse perpetual equals if let's say you want to trade bitcoin you need to have bitcoin as collateral and after that the settlement the profit and the losses are all occurred in the currency that you are trading with so uh, either bitcoin ethereum or us so for usd usdt perpetual itself uh, very straightforward that you are using us data to use as collateral basically your profits your loss and after that your whatever you call it your fees is all in us data and after that over here on us data perpetual itself they have much have have, have a wider range of uh, trading pairs you can see there's a lot of trading uh there's a lot of trading pairs over here on bybit you can basically trade and after the speculate on the prices up or down and after that you can gain whatever you are making and losing is in us data so for the inverse future itself it's kind of confusing over here it is very simple to understand what is an inverse future basically with this futures word itself there's an expiry date on the contract itself so you can go for a long uh whatever period that you want and after that at the end of this december 2021 itself the contract will expire and once it's expire basically your 
this contract is going to redeem itself even though like example the maybe their expiry date is on uh, 1st of December like 12 a.m. or something like that basically during that point itself it's going to cut off all the contract there's no trading on this uh, tr pair again and after that basically everything is going to be settled like even those who, who are those who are in losses or win basically your profit is going to be uh, you're going to get market out and after that from there it's going to clear the contract and after that from there you will gain and loss, lose whatever it is as your position so it, the the collateral over here the settlement is using uh, whatever it is your coin that, that you choose and right now we're going to jump into uh, what is inverse futures so without further ado i'm going to use the inverse perpetual contract over here bitcoin and after that from here i'm going to tell you how what is this difference of cross and isolate basically over here if let's say you are in the tab already and after that from there if let's say you have not trade the futures uh, or let's say perpetual contract before you might be looking at this over here isolate uh, long 10 and after that what is this short 50 basically over here you can choose uh, if you click on the option on top of it basically if you click on this this is going to tell you what is a cross what is a isolate so for you guys reading this over here you might not be understanding what is this i'm just going to put it straight forward to you what is cross basically whatever that you have in your wallet itself let's say there's a ten thousand dollars in your wallet basically you're using it as collateral and margin and after that from there if uh, what does it mean is basically if let's say you get liquidated on your contract itself it is going to affect your whole wallet and after that from there you're gonna lose all your money basically you're gonna get wrecked so we here for beginners out there you might not know what is cross you might not uh, you will just use this because this is the default option and of course i will say that the smart thing to do is head over to isolate what is isolate is is already a self state isolate meaning whatever margin that you put in example you're going to open a position of hundred dollars in bitcoin and hundred dollars is going to use to be used as your margin for this isolate mode itself basically you are spending hundred dollars to yeah basically trade this position and this is your margin hundred dollars and after that if let's say your uh, position can get gets liquidated you only lose that hundred dollars instead of your whole wallet so this is the difference of cross and isolate and of course the the leverage itself uh, depending on what's your risk tolerance and after that how much you want to make so you have to understand that over here if you put 10 times leverage yes you can use hundred dollars to open up a thousand dollars worth of position but the thing is you have to understand that even though if you do this yourself you have to know that whatever is jumping around the numbers it is percentage so let's say you are in the negative percent of two percent that's a thousand dollars of negative two percent so after that uh, vice versa for your profits as well so you have to know you have to know the higher you put and after that your the larger your your position is and after that compared to your margin you might be thinking like oh it's okay lah maybe a hundred times using hundred dollars i can make a ten thousand uh, dollars position and after that one percent up equals i gain that amount of uh, money that i'm supposed to make and of course you have to understand that yeah it's the same for if let's say you're losing and of course the 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 more leverage you use basically your positions uh, is gonna get liquidated faster is nearer to your entry price so i'm gonna explain to you later on the segment so over here we're gonna talk about how do you execute trades first so over here i'm just gonna set everything to basically two times okay this is how we're gonna play so if let's say you're not professional i would recommend you to just use one or two times that's the best i would say and after that if let's say you are slightly more professional maybe five or ten times depending on your risk tolerance so over here we're going to talk about how do you execute trades over here all right so over here how do you execute trades itself is very simple it is almost the same as what we are talking what we have thought about in spot trading and after that over here it's very simple to understand the order price meaning how what is the price that you want to enter so i'm just going to put for example um something like Right, so we're very simple to understand order price equals your entry price for your leverage. So over here we're gonna put like let's say we're gonna go for a long, definitely the price right now is this amount. So we can't we click on it, we are not gonna get this price over here. Instead, we can just click on this and after that this is gonna be the price reflected. But of course, if you're gonna for a long, you can put like fifty-two thousand, that's your targets of that target of entry, and after that over here you have to think that how much Bitcoin you're gonna put in and the leverage is two times. So we I can use ten percent, twenty percent, or whatsoever I want to over here depending on your choice and after that over here there's also like advanced order like buy long with tp and sl so what is this tp and sl basically is telling you that tp is take profit and sl is stop loss so you're going to click on this and after that from here it's going to tell you okay this is a conditional order uh how does it work it's very simple i'm going to en enter at this price and let's say example one bitcoin and after that over here i'm going to take profit at fifty three thousand. and after that over here it's going to tell you this is how much you're going to make so over here you can see uh, if let's say you enter at this position, uh, one Bitcoin is your size and after that over here, they are going to tell you your take profit is at 53000 and you are expected to make a profit of $1,000 
very simple and straightforward. So over here, if let's say you want to uh, minimize your stop loss, you can put something like that, 51,000. And after that, over here, it's going to tell you the expected loss is going to be $1,000 if you put at 51,000, meaning you're going to enter at 52 and you're going to stay stop loss, stop, stop out at 51. And after they're going to take profit at 53. So once you click on open long itself, it is going to wait for everything to execute and much more everything is automated. And I will say that this over here, is what a professional trader slash uh if you are gonna you don't want to get wrecked over here you will basically use all of this basically the stop loss the take profit everything you are you will use this because this is going to be very helpful for your futures trading and after that from here this also to minimize your losses because you are uh, you are basically using leverage and after that it can go as high as 100 times therefore i would say that using uh using this stop loss feature itself is very helpful and of course for uh take profit as well so over here we have come to the end so for the leverage part itself, it is on the next, I mean the liquidation, it is on to the next video itself. You want to basically know more about what is this liquidation all about, just kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification and leave a thumbs up to this video. And of course, before we end the topic itself, I will have an important tip for you guys. So if let's say you are trading on leverage itself, the important tip is to basically have a risk management. Basically, what is the risk management? Let's say you have $1,000 to trade. I would say that uh, every trade you, uh, you want to execute, basically your risk management will be 1% of whatever trade that you are willing to lose. I mean your capital so one percent of your capital is around uh ten dollars you know yeah it's ten dollars so one uh, every trade that you can afford to lose is around ten dollars so depending on your capital and after that you have to have proper risk management instead of just coming in to buy bit casino and after that gambling all your money over here you can basically make some money if you know how to read the charts and after that make some probability and of course uh, maximize your gains instead of just gambling your money so i've come to the end i'm gonna see you on the next one bye bye peace